class, today we will learn about recognize fraction. What is fraction? Fraction is divided into equal part. Fraction ialah pecahan. Ini fraction maksudnya pecahan. Dan pecahan mestilah dibahagi kepada sama besar. Mesti bahagi kepada sama besar. Let's see what is fraction right now. Let us see number one. Okay, is this a fraction? Is this a fraction? No, it's not a fraction. Why? Cause because it not divided into equal part. Dia tidak dibahagi ataupun dipotong kepada bahagian yang sama besar. Dia tidak dipotong kepada bahagian yang sama besar. Ini this one bigger and this one smaller. So it's not a fraction. So this one is not a fraction. This one big and this one small, so it's not a fraction. Let's uh, see example two. Is this circle or shape is fraction? No, it's not a fraction. Why? Because it's it not divided into equal part. This one bigger and this one small, so it's not a fraction. Example three. Is this a fraction? Yes. Why? Because it's divided. It divided into equal part. Dia dipotong ataupun dibahagi kepada bahagian yang sama besar. Jadi ini ialah pecahan. Okay. Example four. Is this a fraction? Yes. It's a fraction because all the parts are divided into equal part. Okay, let's uh, see another example. Okay, is this a fraction? No, because it's not divided into equal part. About how about number two? Okay, this is fraction because it divided into equal part. And three also a fraction, same size. Dia sama besar. Setiap ruang ini, setiap ruang ini dia dibahagi kepada Bahagian yang sama besar. How about number four? Number four also a fraction. Dia dibahagi dekat tengah-tengah ni. Jadi bahagian ini, bahagian atas sama besar dengan bahagian bawah. So fraction mestilah pecahan mestilah dibahagi kepada bahagian yang sama besar. Sekiranya awak nampak pecahan ada pun apa-apa bentuk yang tidak dibahagi pada sama besar itu bukan pecahan. Okay, which one divided half equally? Which one divided half equally? Okay, apa maksud half? Mana satu yang dibahagi ada pun dipotong setengah? Half ialah half ialah apa maksud half? Half ialah setengah ataupun separuh. Jadi, which one is divided into half equally? Is this divided into half equally? No. How about this one? This one divided into half equally. And this one also. How about this one? The purple color. Is this, is this divided half equally? No. Kerana, why? This one bigger and this one smaller. And the blue one also divided into half equally. Half maksudnya setengah ada pun separuh. Okay. Now, which one divided quarter equally? Which one divided quarter equally? So, what what mean by quarter? Quarter maksudnya suku. Jadi, which one divided quarter equally? Okay, let's uh, see number one. Is this divided quarter equally? Yes. How about number two? Number two divided into quarter equally. Is it? No. Why? Because it not divided into same size. This one bigger and 
this one smaller so it's not fraction so number two is wrong how about number three number three also not divided into quarter equally why because this one big and this one small so it's not fraction how about number four number four is divided into quarter equally Now we look at 1 over 4. This one is read as 1 over 4. 1 means berapa bahagian yang dilorek. Okay, berapa bahagian yang dilorek. Dan 4 ini bermaksud jumlah bahagian. Okay, let's see what is 1 over 4. Here have one waffle and I cut it into four parts. I cut it into four parts. One, two, three and four. And I take one part of it. I take one. It means quarter. So this one is one. The full one is one. And I take one is one over four. Okay. Let us see this fraction. Ada berapa bahagian yang berwarna merah tu? Yang ber di lorek ke di warna tu? Ada berapa? Ada satu. Jadi is one. Over berapa bahagian kesemuanya? Ada one, two, three and four. So ada empat bahagian kesemuanya. Ini membawa masuk satu per empat. Untuk empat ini maksudnya ada berapa jumlah bahagian Pecahan tu ada berapa jumlah bahagian dia. Dan atas ini, nombor di atas ini membawa masuk ada berapa bahagian yang dilorek ke, dimakan ke, ada pun di warna. And this one. Ada berapa bahagian yang warna hijau ni? Ada satu bahagian. Jadi ada berapa jumlah bahagian kesemuanya? Ada empat. So, it's one over four. Now, we look at two over 4. This is 2 over 4. Okay, just now we have learned 1 over 4. This is 1 over 4. 1 over 4 add on ada pun tambah lagi satu 1 over 4. It will become 2 over 4. Maksudnya ada 2 bahagian warna biru sekarang. Ada 2 bahagian yang warna biru dan 4 bahagian kesemuanya. Jadi, this one is 2 over 4. And let's see this fraction. How many parts are color or shaded with pink? Okay. 1 and 2. So it's 2 over 4. 4 total have 4 parts. And this one also is 2 over 4. And this one also 2 over 4. Okay, now let us see 3 over 4. 3 over 4 is means that 1 over 4 add on another 1 on a 1 over 4 it will become 2 over 4 2 over 4 plus 1 over 4 it will become 3 over 4 3 over 4 maksudnya ada di ada tiga bahagian yang berwarna ataupun dilorekkan 1 2 3 maksudnya ini adalah 3 then ada berapa bahagian kesemuanya ada empat bahagian jadi it means 3 over 4 ok kita lihat contoh ni sini ada berapa yang berwarna jingga ada 1, 2, 3 so it's 3 berapa jumlah bahagian kesemuanya ada 1, 2, 3 and 4 so ada 4 bahagian semuanya jadi it means 3 over 4 ini adalah pecahan-pecahan yang menunjukkan 3 over 4 Let's, let's try to answer this together. 1. Which is 1 over 2? Why? Okay, here, A, B, C. Which one is 1 over 2? 1 over 2. It means 1 over 2. Which one is 1 over 2? Papa A is 1 over 2. This one, this one have 1. And it had total had 1 and 2 parts. So it means that it had 1 over 2. How about B? Is, is it B is 1 over 2? No. 
is not 1 over 2. How about C? C is 1 over 2. Okay, the question number 2. Which is 1 over 4? 1 over 4. A is 1 over 4. So A is 1 over 4. How about B? B is it is it B is 1 over 4? No, B is 1 over 2. How about C? C also 1 over 4. 1 over 4 maksudnya ada satu bahagian yang diambil keluar ke, dimakan ke, dipotong ke. Jadi yang 4 ini maksudnya ada 4 bahagian kesemuanya. Okay, look at question 3. Name the fraction of the blue shaded part. Okay, the blue color, the blue color. We look at A first. We look at A first. So A is what fraction for A? Blue part. One over two. Ada satu bahagian berwarna biru dan ada dua bahagian kesemuanya. Jadi itu adalah satu per dua. How about B? B have one, two, and three. So three over. How about C? Okay, C ini bentuk segi empat ini. Kalau cikgu letak lagi satu garis ini, ada berapa bentuk kesemua dia? Ada one, two, three and four. So it's total have four part. The blue shaded part have one. The blue shaded part have one. So it's one over four. How about question number four? Which one is 2 over 4? Which one is 2 over 4? 2 over 4. So this one is 2 over 4. This one is not 2 over 4. This one is 3 over 4. How about B? B is 3 over 4. Which one is 3 over 4? The green one is 3 over 4. 3 over 4. How about the yellow one? The yellow one is is this a fraction? Yes, but when I divided them into same equal part, is it still 3 or 4? No, it will become 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It will become total have 6 part. And the yellow one is 1, 2, 3, 4. So it will become 4 over 6. So the yellow is not 3 over 4. That's all for today. Thank you.